In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own planner with stationery. The whole planner has about 50 pages, which means I use 25 sheets of cardstock paper with two stationery pages on each sheet. I held the stationary sheets together with binder clips and then I used tacky glue to glue them to each other. I only added glue to one side and this is the side that will be bonded to the planner. Um, once all the paper is dried you just want to repeat the gluing process on all the sheets until they're all glued together. Once those sets dried I glued the entire stack together and this will just make the bond really really strong. To make the cover of the planner I glued together two pieces of poster board. I then took the stack of stationary pages and then measured the poster board to fit that and then once I measured it I marked it and cut it. and then I scored the inside seams where the planner will open and close. To make the planner plush, I glued on some felt and then trimmed the edges. You can use your favorite fabric to cover the planner, just be sure to put the prettiest side on the outside and the duller side on the inside of the planner. You can use a foam brush to spread out the glue and then you just want to wrap the fabric around the cover and then make sure you press it down very firmly and then cut off the excess. You want to glue and fold the edges down of the planner so that it has a clean top and bottom. And now that all the pages are dry, you can glue them into the center of the planner and you just want to add some more glue to where the spine will be and then spread that around and press the pages in really firmly. You'll need a strip of fabric with the edges folded in and glued and this is going to be the piece of fabric that holds the planner closed. I used a smaller strip of fabric to make a little bow and that'll go on top. And on the back of the planner you want to add some glue and then add the strip you just made and wrap it around and on the front that's where the bow is going to go so you want to add a little more glue to the bow and then I used binder clips to hold the bow in place while it dried. I glued the scratchy side to the planner and the softer side to the actual strap. I took one more strip of fabric and folded one edge, made a little loop and this is going to be a pin holder and you want to glue it to the back of the planner. And you'll see that the pin fits in very snugly like this. And when everything is dry you can start using your planner and having fun and organizing everything that you need to do. And if you make your own planner, please be sure to share pictures with me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And I'll be sure to add your pictures to the next video.